today's video we are gonna try and do kind of like a trial run of homeschooling i want to see how it goes having both kids and we're gonna try out the good and the beautiful curriculum promoted some of the free lessons that they offer so you can download for free lessons i believe is it k through level five so nyla would be level six but i'm gonna have her just try level five just to see how it goes but i did see in their assessment page which i've never looked at before the grade levels with their lesson levels are different which I do think they mention. I might have her try the assessment first just to see. I know for sure Joel B, I'm gonna have him do level four. I do not like level three. They did kind of redo it, but it's still kind of in the same layout and I'm not a fan of it. So for sure level four for him. And then for Nyla, we can kind of debate between level five and six, but I'm thinking she'll do level six, but I'm gonna do the assessment just to kind of get an idea and go off of my own personal opinion as well. So, gonna see how this goes. Joel B is definitely gonna be my tough one. He's just, when he's home, he just wants to do video games or computer games and stuff. So I'm gonna try and at least get Nyla to take the assessment. She's got cheer choreography today, so she's gonna be gone from one to four but I'm gonna try and get the assessment in at least for her and maybe get her started now and then maybe do Joel B. So when you're in the course, you can scroll down and right here, here they have the free PDF course sets for levels one through five. So, and then you just click on that and you go through putting in your email and then it'll start downloading for you right away. assessment I'm gonna have her do this one first these are the words that you're gonna tell me so just read through them and I'm gonna time you you want to do it in about two minutes and not get more than four wrong read all of you're them you're just gonna go through and read them to Sam gotcha. Keep on trying until I get it right. just say it no just you gotta just go Okay. Say it as you think you'd say because you're being so timed. Say all them in less than two minutes or in two minutes? Two minutes. I'm just going to go to two minutes. When the timer goes off at two minutes, then you're done. Okay. Two minutes. All right, go. Vibrant, contaminated, gorgeous, architecture, brilliant. Brilliantly condominium. All right, we're already at. In, in She's got one minute left, but we've already hit Hy more than four wrong. Hydro. So Hydro. she said they're really tough words. Hy so and this is Hydro. level five. Tyrant. <laughs> So we're just gonna go through this. I'm gonna kind of go over a little bit of this with her. I don't think there's much that she really needs on here, but. And then she goes into some parts of speech, which I have. And then I have this printout that's from the level that she is gonna just review the terms and make sure she remembers since it's been a while from doing schoolwork. So review some of those terms. And then, yeah, she's gonna go through the parts of speech and do all this. And then she's got some 
concrete nouns, abstract nouns. One minute brave. And then another page, this is gonna be lesson two. So lesson one is super basic. Lesson two, she's gonna go read a little bit of this little book. And then it looks like she's got some more grammar stuff to do. And then the next page is another one that she's just gonna do some more grammar. And then she's got a little study on the painting and she's gonna do some writing it looks like on that. So this is what she's gonna work on today and we're gonna see how that goes. And then I'll do Jolby later. over that and now here exercise two you're gonna underline all the prepositions in the following two sentences so remember what a preposition is yep. okay so in these two sentences you're gonna underline all the prepositions in both these two sentences Right, so she finished that part. Next is exercise three. Brave. Brave. I'll get her. Where are you at, baby? It's dirty down there. What are you doing? Watch your heads. Whoa. All right, so exercise three, you're gonna go over concrete nouns. Our physical nouns you can see, hear, or touch. Underline all the words below that are nouns, abstract, or concrete. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, Brave, you gotta come with me. So the next one, this would be, yeah, that would be on level lesson one, but we're gonna do a little bit more. Yeah, just do some reading. Um, yeah, just all up to here, and then you're gonna read and complete. Below are passages that explain terms from this book. Read the sentences below and fill in the correct word for each definition. So these monks or brothers, as they were often called, lived in monasteries. Oh, these underlined words would go in one Yes, and it tells you the definitions in here. Okay. Okay? All right, Brave. You ready? I probably gotta give you a nap. Brave! Uh, Come on, we gotta go ready? take a nap. <laughs> we gotta go take a nap. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Stand up. Good job, baby. No. All right, so while you're snacking, we're gonna just start on lesson two. There wasn't much on lesson one. It was just kind of explaining how to go through everything. So we're gonna start with challenging word practice. You're just gonna read these off to me. Um, language. Keep going. Delicious. Accurate. Um, um. Miss Brave. <laughs> Miss Brave. You want me? Okay. Derive to 
still our body so You're gonna write the syllables for each spelling word in the boxes. So just like they kind of did ox i gin. X er size. Alright, in the next part you're gonna do a crossword. Yay. Fill in the blank with the correct word and then use the words to complete the puzzle. So he is a blank in the war. Wait, is he using these? Right here. He is a what in okay. the war? Huh? A soldier. Soldier in the war, yep. Make sure you spell it correctly. Alright, next is possessives. You know what possessives are? No, I don't know. Are you. words that show ownership and an apostrophe and an S to show possession. So this is David's dog. So you put up an apostrophe S when it's, he has possession over a dog. It's his dog. All right, abbreviations. You know abbreviations? Do you know the abbreviation for mount? I don't know. They're up there, yeah. So if you can cover it, you can use a paper and cover it if you want. If you think you already know them, go for it. But I guess these two are Okay. Is that, you can read, yeah, read here, just so you don't go get on your video games. It's not very long though, but read, tell me uh, Tell me about it when you're done. Down, tumble down mountain, what do you think it's gonna be about? Um, is someone gonna tumble down the mountain? No, like a horse or mountain. You think so? Maybe, maybe. Let me know and let me know and see, tell me what, what it's about. Or is it they're gonna vent, they have, do they have a wagon? No? Yeah. Are they just venturing down down the mountain maybe? 